Hello, my name is Gannett and I'm a PhD student at Fitz Karlsruhe and Kaite. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about a resource paper, which is a joint work with Dr. Mev Shalam and my supervisor, Professor Dr. Harald Sack. The title of the paper is Literally Wikidata, a benchmark for knowledge graph completion using literals. In this work, we have proposed a new benchmark for evaluating knowledge graph completion models with and without literals. Knowledge graphs are composed of structured information describing facts about a particular domain through entities and interrelations between them. Due to the open world assumption, knowledge graphs are never complete. There are always some facts missing. In order to solve this problem, different knowledge graph embedding models have been proposed for automated knowledge graph completion. For instance, this small knowledge graph about five England's football players shows that Pogba, Rashford, Ronaldo, and Lingard play for Manchester United, whereas Saka plays for Arsenal. Moreover, the fact that the Manchester United and Arsenal are football teams is also present. Looking at the player's age, Pogba and Lingard are both 28 years old, whereas Rashford is 23 and Saka is 20. Ronaldo, 36, is the oldest among these players. One way to represent this graph in a vector space could be like this. The players are close to each other and so are the teams. Even further, the players who play for the same team are close to each other and the opposite holds for those playing for different teams. Moreover, Pogba is put near Lingard instead of Rashford based on age similarity. <coughs> In order to assess the performance of knowledge graph embedding models, which learn such kind of latent representations, it's required to have data sets to conduct evaluations. Hence, there are already different data sets or benchmarks available. Those extracted from Freebase and have been widely used are Freebase 15K and Freebase 15K237. Freebase 15K237 is a better version of Freebase 15K, which is created by removing inverse relations from Freebase 15K. However, Freebase 15K237 still has drawbacks because it contains multiple skewed relations towards either some head or tail entities. For example, the relation gender is skewed towards the tail entity male. On top of that, no focus was given to literals when preparing the data sets. Hence, the original release does not contain any attributive triples. Virginate 18 RR and Virginate RR are the most widely used ones among those from Virginate. They are comparatively smaller than previous Think 237 and also do not contain any numeric literals. Yago 310 is a popular dataset among those from Yago. This dataset has many triples which are with duplicated relations, for example, is affiliated to and place for, which makes it easy for tasks such as link prediction. The recent datasets or benchmarks are from Wikidata. Wikidata authors is a small domain specific dataset with small number of triples, which does not contain any literals. Codex is the recent data set available mainly for link prediction task. In addition to triples with object properties, it also contains labels and descriptions of entities from Wikidata and summaries from Wikipedia for entities. However, this benchmark does not give emphasis to literals and hence does not contain any attributive triples. There are other data sets, those you see here, most of which are either domain specific or smaller in size. As a summary with existing data sets, we see one or more of these issues. Skewness, inversion, less number of triples, having highly generic facts, being very domain specific and not giving focus to literals. Hence, in this work, the purpose is to create several data sets which addresses the drawbacks of the existing benchmarks and with a special focus on literals. We consider the following when creating our benchmark data sets. Selecting those entities which have both numeric and textual literals, excluding skewed relations, 
handling symmetricity, removing duplicates, extracting textual descriptions in multiple lateral languages, and finally, evaluating the data sets. <clears throat> Our pipeline has four main steps. First, triples with data type properties, which we refer to as attributive triples, are extracted. Then, given the entities in step one as an input, triples with object properties are extracted in step two. In the third step, the triples are filtered to create more sound data sets in terms of size and quality. Finally, in the fourth step, each of the created data sets are split into train, validation, and test sets. Now we go through each of the steps in detail. <clears throat> the properties or attributes which take numeric literals as values are those which take point in time values such as date of birth. These properties are identified as properties of data type wiki based time in Wikidata. Another set of properties are those typed as Wikibase globe coordinate, for example, coordinate location. Since these properties take two kinds of values, longitude and latitude, they are split into two by attaching the prefix longitude and latitude to the property name. The other set of properties taking numeric values are of Wikibase type quantity. For example, weight, height, and distance are properties whose values are considered as quantities. These values are normalized to their SI units whenever applicable. If a property takes more than one unit, the units will be added as prefixes to their corresponding property names. Finally, for each property, all those units which occur less than 1% of the time are removed. After identifying the properties, the triples with these properties are extracted, excluding those entities with no site link to English Wikipedia, or whose types are among the subclasses of the class Wikimedia page outside the main knowledge tree, or if they are classes themselves. In the second phase or step, we extract all relational triples. By relational triples, we mean triples with object properties, where the entities, subjects, and objects take at least one data type property. Then given two inverse properties, P1 and P2, where frequ the frequency of P1 is greater than or equal to that of P2, we swap the subject and object items of those triples with P2 and replace P2 with P1. This way, inverse duplicate properties will be removed from the extracted triples. Similarly, we remove symmetric duplicate properties for each, of, for each pair of redundant triples belonging to a symmetric relation, we keep only one of them. As I mentioned earlier, the main goal is to create three data sets which differ in size and structure. The first one is literally Wikidata 48K, which is meant for general and future evaluations. The second one is literally Wikidata 19K, which is all purpose data set comparable in size to FreeBase 15K 237 and Codex M. The last one is literally Wikidata 1K. This one is very small and intended for model testing and debugging. We will now go through the steps applied to create each of these data sets. The first steps are getting the seed entities, extracting the triples with these seed entities, creating K core subgraphs from the extracted triples, and then doing further filtering. In case of literally Wikidata 48K data set, the seed entities are the top 200,000 entities with the highest number of data type properties. Then, extracting triples where either the heads or the tails are among the seed entities. As illustrated here, for example, given the seed entity German, which has some literal values, a triple containing this entity would be German language, Germany language used German. We can also have the seed entity Germany as a tail. For example, Albert Einstein residence Germany. A K 
k-core is created, which is a maximal subgraph g prime of a given graph g such that every node in g prime has a degree of at least k. In this case, g would be a graph representing the extracted triples in the previous step. And the value of k is six. In case of literally Wikidata 19k, the value of n for the seed entities is 50,000. Then the triples are extracted considering neighboring entities up to two hops from the seed entities, as illustrated here in this graph. For example, we can go one more hop and get the triple Pauline Koch child Albert Einstein for the given seed entity Germany. <clears throat> In case of uh, literally Wikidata 19K, the K core value is set to 15. For the other data sets, the seed is 200,000 and it's one hop and K is set to 15. Here we do further filtering, removing triples from each data set containing entities having less than three non-stop words on their corresponding Wikipedia pages, entities with exactly the same Wikipedia page which do not represent them, object properties or relations occurring less than three times in the entire data set, skewed data type properties or attributes, or Duplicate object properties. Finally, each of these data sets are split into 955 train validation test sets. We have also computed some analysis such as connectivity, diameter, and density. In this table, we present the statistical information on the textual literals of entities from Wikipedia and Wikidata along with some of the topics covered in this um, data set, such as people, geography, entertainment, and let's say. Now we compare the data sets with existing ones. In terms of skewness, ours do not have any relation which is skewed 100% of the time towards head or tail. Literally, Wikidata 19K does not have any symmetric, inverse, or fixed set relations. Distimate complex and distimate literal are the models used for experiments or link prediction. Best models are selected by creating configurations, by combining models, training approaches, losses, regularizers, and optimizers, and applying random search with early stopping. Pykin is used for hyperparameter searching. As you can see here on this table, and as the result of the experiments indicate, when we compare unimodal and multimodal uh, models for all of these three data sets, Distimult literal outperforms distimult with respect to almost all metrics. This shows that using literals brings an advantage. Also, when we compare proposed datasets and existing datasets, the results show that our proposed datasets have higher levels of difficulty. The lessons learned are both FreeBase 15K237 and Codex are valuable data sets for link prediction with unimodal knowledge graph models. So unimodals are the ones which use only structured um, triples without any literals. And uh, however, literally Wikidata, our benchmark is appropriate for both unimodal and multimodal link prediction tasks with that means with both literals and without literals. For further work, we consider more tasks such as triple classification, more experiments by fusing relational triples, numeric literals and text literals, studying data bias and conducting detailed analysis, 
Thank you very much for your attention.